Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your Love Bite. Aries, let's see what's the message here for you today. And of course, these are general collective readings. Aries will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers. Welcome in newcomers. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you have a choice between two Aries? Are options opening up for you? Some balance and justice is about to arrive in your love life it seems. Somebody's made, somebody's in love. I mean, there's a king of cups in love with the nine of pentacles, beautiful single person, feeling all loved up, two of cups. And that is victory. What is this? Is this somebody new? Are you receiving a message? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused today to, to see such good cards, Aries. Let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's try and figure out who this person is. And um, of course, um, Let's see how, if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'm going to start your reading. Aries and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person, thank you. Just a few more Aries from a third deck as well. Aries and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start your reading, Aries. The first card here says, I'm willing to offer an olive branch to you if I'm able to communicate with you. I would gladly accept an olive branch from you. I long for peace and I miss you. Okay, so there is somebody from the past who wants to give an olive branch. That's like, hey, let's make up. This situation is messy. I haven't been happy for a long time. My ex and I are just friends. I feel like I've been fighting for your life, not for you to not only stay alive, but for you to be your authentic self and to thrive. I want to see you embrace your dreams and fly free from everything that's been holding you back. I get so effing jealous knowing that you're in bed with a karmic at night. I feel sick to my stomach at the thought of you in bed with them. I haven't apologized because I don't feel deserving of your forgiveness. I haven't been able to forgive myself for how I treated you. Deep in my heart, I know that you're the one for me. I promise my soul will be by your side for all eternity. Every night, I just want to be home and home is in your arms. You are my daily motivation. Your soul, the essence of who you are, inspires me and helps me navigate the path of life. A love will never die because true love lasts forever. All right, Aries. So, well, let's uh, take our angel blessing card and get on to this reading to see what's what justice is happening here. I'm very intrigued to know. Or maybe somebody wants to bring justice to the situation. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Peaceful. You're going into a very peaceful, calm place in your life, Aries. I don't know which side you're on, but I do see a Nine of Pentacles person getting a lot of victory in their life and a lot of options and, well, I think a soulmate as well. So, let's see. Spirit, what's the Two of Swords in reverse for Aries' first card today? Somebody is actually making up their mind to send a message, Aries, because this card is here twice. Somebody wants to send a message. They're making up their mind. They want to send a message. What message is this? What message is this, Spirit? Of love. 
they want to express their love Aries they want to tell their person that you are the one who makes all my dreams and wishes come true but they're having a lot of anxiety about sending this um, message it's like I've made up my mind I know I need to make send a message I want to send a message I want to tell them that they are the one that I love now but having sleepless nights why why are you having sleepless nights because they fear that this connection is over. They feel that this connection is over. The other person will may not accept them back now. Uh, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel, yeah, they feel like a fool now. Utter fool, my God. I feel like a fool. Why did I block this? I had a, I had a perfect partnership in the past. This was such a beautiful soulmate connection. This was like equal give and take. And I now feel like a fool. I never saw it. My eyes were, had a blindfold and I was like in every other direction except looking at something which was right there in front of me which was my true soulmate. So they're very very worried that uh, now maybe it's already over. So King of Cups I'm going to give you the mic. Would you like to say something here? This King of Cups I don't think has spoken up yet because they're still kind of sitting there all loved up but stressed out. So King of Cups mic is with you. Would you like to say something? King of Cups, King of Cups, too many cards, I think pers this uh, King of Cups is saying, you know what Omkara Taro, I really do want to put in work now, I'm trying to gather up the courage to do that, why, why do you need courage? Tell me more. Uh, because they feel that person has totally turned their back on them now. It's like maybe too late or too much has been done or they gave off the wrong impression. Um, they want to now come back and oh, they want to offer marriage and commitment. This person says, I'm ready to do anything now. I'm ready to come forward. I want to ask them if they're ready now. I'm ready now. I'm so, I, mean, I haven't seen them say sorry yet. But uh, yeah, in their mind, I think, but they're a little worried. They feel, what if, what if, you know, it's already over? What if the, my person has already turned their back? Mm, justice? What's the justice card? See? No apology. One second. Give me one more. Ah. Somewhere, I don't know why they feel they deserve not being forgiven. It's almost like, yeah, you know, I'm getting what I deserve. Uh, that's karmic justice for me. My bad karma that, uh, you know, I took my person for granted. Some way, I don't know, they feel undeserving of even forgiveness. Wasn't there a card which said that? Yeah, I haven't apologized because I don't feel deserving of your forgiveness. I haven't been able to forgive myself for how I treated you. So, um, what happened? Tell me. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups clarified by the Seven of Cups. I think this person just kept looking for options, over options, over options, trying to, you know, see if the grass was greener on the other side, where they always had a true soulmate standing right in front of them. I think this person got caught up with maybe other things, their work, their business, their cars, their houses, their other options. I think this is like, you know, when you have spotlights on you and you can't see beyond that because the light is so strong, it's almost like this person looks starstruck. And this is like on and on and on, two cards. Give me one more for the Seven of Cups. What happened with the Seven of Cups? They lost out on their Ten of Cups. I mean, chasing after the Sevens, this person lost out on a Ten of Cups uh, scenario here, Aries. So now, what's the Two of Cups now? What's the Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? Now they feel if I do go and offer, I do go and offer them my love and tell them, hey, you know what, I've recognized that you're the only one and you're the one that I want they are expecting to be rejected. Am I right? Give me one more. Yeah, they want to be actually seen as, uh, you know, 
a king of wands uh, still sitting in a little bit of pride and ego i'm sorry to say that this person doesn't want rejection right on the other hand the other person who has been hurt by this uh, knight of cups who's broken their heart or broken promises and this person is saying no you know what i've met somebody else i'm going towards a king of wands a passionate brand new beginning i'm looking for my own two of cups now which is not this person because i'm single i'm independent i'm beautiful i can make my own choices now okay so normally i don't give the mic to you know uh, anything less than a king or a queen but you're a pre empress so you deserve it too so here's the mic pre empress would you like to say something uh nine of pentacles person pre empress anything to say yeah i think this nine of pentacles person says that they there was no victory in the past with them them i've already done this i've done this jig where you know we had fights or they brought competition or they were you know combative or i don't know what what lot of chaos i think happened here this pre empress also said that they never made that choice it's like i'm not bound and tied to them because they never chose me we we never talked about that in fact they always told me that i was not even worth fighting about or i was less than or always made me feel like a loser right so i've had no victory with them i've done this you know many go round with them where i they they pushed me off you know that uh, ferris wheel and uh, i fell down and i i didn't feel any victory with them i'm going after my own victory now i'm going towards somebody who will make me feel you know adulated and loved and you know desired so six of wands six of wands what's the six of wands yes going after a dream uh, i think this uh, pre empress is going after somebody or something new i think they may have come into a choice and they're taking the other choice to say you know what i feel this can make my dreams come true am i right give me more six of wands yeah see looking forward to happy times looking forward to maybe meeting up with somebody new going out for drinks celebrating life in a joyous way with the star card three of cups and the victory card it's like this pre empress is ready to find a new lover or a new person in their life uh, who will take action this is like you know i'm ready for passion now i've tried it with them it really didn't work out So spirit tell me one thing I hope this pre empress is not going to be juggling now what's this two of uh, pentacles oh they 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 making things right they've thought about it yes they've thought about it they feel they feel that this is the right thing for them to do they they could have thought it over right because in the with the past there was quite an attachment as well i think this pre empress is the one who's kind of bringing back balance and justice feeling that the past was only going backwards i was just feeling stuck and tied what is the right thing for me to do i think i'm ready to have victory and feel like a person who deserves to be loved i think it's coming from a play place of peace and leaving the past behind i think person a i think is already knows that they know if i go and say hey you know i've suddenly realized i may get shut down and that's the reason they haven't yet come forward as much as they want to send that message they keep stopping themselves let me just manifest it let me just wish it anything else for it for aries anything else for aries today yep huge transformation coming this is out with the old and let's have a brand new life this is for the pre empress it's like ending one chapter and moving on to the next yes this queen of wands oh I, this is a question i asked i love i love you spirit thank you so much this is a question i asked remember i said is this pre empress uh, juggling 
will will the supreme empress be waiting for the past one and you know have an affair maybe with uh, the king of wands no this empress knows their worth they know they're moving forward towards somebody new they are dropping one they they they're not going to be juggling they're going to be making up their mind they're no long, longer holding back on their own desires their own hopes and wishes yeah this person has healed now bruised and battered whatever they were but they are ready to well give life one more chance so that's what i have for you aries till next time then love and light take care namaste